So this has got to be the hands down the best free training uh, for all web app pen testers. Anyone interested in doing any capacity of web application uh, pen testing. This is the Port Swigger Academy website I have in front of me. And like I said in the beginning, it's all completely for free. We're going to dive right into this and uh, see what it has to offer. So when it comes to web app pen testing, this is one of the great resources, one of the gold mine resources you have available. Uh, Port Swigger, if you don't know, is the company that uh, is behind Burp Suite. And uh, even if you only use the community edition, you could pretty much do almost all these labs here. Now, another interesting thing to note is this is led by the author of Web Application Hacker Handbook, which is one of the uh, old school, really solid resources on web app vulnerabilities. Now, if we just scroll down here, we'll see there's a number of materials and labs and it covers, the amazing thing about this website is it really does cover pretty much any web-based vulnerability that you can think of. It has some kind of information on it. Um, so, and, and the way that it's laid out and explained stuff is very, very thorough, very good uh, in my opinion. And I'll show you guys exactly what I mean by that. Now, the cool thing about this, uh, right, is that let's just take something, for example, like uh, web cache poisoning, right? Already there's 13 different, uh, what it say, 13 labs on just this one thing alone. And you see how it's laid out here. It explains like what is this and uh, what is the research behind it. And you can get some access to additional information. And it'll show you very graphic, uh, with a very graphic view of like, uh, a very illustrative view how it actually works if you're more of a visual person as well. And uh, it'll give you the step-by-step -step for all of it. It'll even show you, you know, if it uh, flags and burp about it. This would be burp pro to do like the, uh, the scan here. And it'll give you all this information on it. And typically there will be a, a lab that uh, will correspond with this. You can uh, actually go and try it out for yourself. I'm not seeing that in this particular one. But, uh, yeah, that's just one thing to note there. Now, if we look at, uh, say, all the labs, right, because we can look at just specifically all the labs, like, without the viewing materials or, or anything like that, and you see just how many labs there are. There are just tons and tons of labs here, and they, they have it here sorted by the different vulnerability categories, right, which we'll go into those in a minute, but, yeah, there's just so much here. We could go into any of them. And uh, yeah, we can see here, if you've ever used Pentester Lab, it's, it's kind of like that. And we even tell you what the solutions are and the community solution as well. So if you're new, this is a great place to, uh, to get started, especially if you want to get into web app pen testing, right? Now, another neat thing about this is there is an actual learning path that they prescribe, you know, if you're completely new to this as well, right? So they say for complete beginners, we recommend starting with server-side topics because these vulnerabilities are typically easier to learn because you only need to understand what's happening on the server. Our materials and labs will help you develop some of the core knowledge and skills that you will rely on time after time. And yeah, they start you off with, you know, you probably recognize a lot, if not all of these, right? SQL injection, authentication, directory traversal, command injection, business logic, information disclosure, access control. And, and you can see on all these, just how many different labs accompany each one. Like there's a good amount of training material as well as the fact that it's just going to go in there and it's going to explain exactly what it is. Like look at this amount of detail here and it's, it's pretty, pretty nice looking art, which I think that's important, right? You want to have a good aesthetic because it can really draw you in. And if you're looking at a site that looks like it's from the 90s, it's honestly hard to even get into the material. I'm, I'm sorry. That's just how we are as humans, right? So the fact that it is put together and looks really clean is a good, really good thing too. Some of these have videos that uh, correspond to them as well, where they'll explain in a video format. So this site is just so well put together, so, so thorough with everything that I'd have to recommend it. Now see here, they have all these explanations, and then along with that, you'll see the lab pop up here. So this is how I would recommend doing this. I wouldn't recommend 
uh, just clicking on all the labs and just doing the labs. Like, go in and uh, read about the vulnerabilities, you know, watch the videos, you know, look at the uh, diagrams. And once you get to the point where you're ready for the lab, which will it'll, they'll pop up when you're ready, then you just click in here, you go in, you do the lab, and then you get the hands-on, right? Because we always talk about on this channel the importance of being really hands-on with your learning, right? So this will give you all that. It will give you the theoretical knowledge and then allow you to go ahead and apply it right away, which is a very thorough way to learn stuff. And you see here, it continues this trend. This is how the training is laid out. It's very, very good, very excellent stuff. Highly recommend it. It's completely free. All you have to do is register, right? You sign up, put in your email, create your account, and you're good to go. And uh, yeah, so you start off with server side on their learning path. You can go through all these different ones here, and then you jump over to the client side, you know, the JavaScript based things. It can be a little bit more tricky, but uh, definitely essential to know if you want to be a web app pen tester. So the client side vulnerabilities introduce an additional layer of complexity, which can make them slightly more challenging. These materials and labs will help you build on the server side skills you've already learned and teach you how to identify and exploit <laughs> some gnarly client side vectors as well. Yeah, some of these are pretty cool, right? And then you have even an advanced topic section. These topics aren't necessarily more difficult to master, but they generally require deeper understanding and a wider breadth of knowledge. We recommend getting to grips with the basics before tackling these labs, some of which are based on pioneering techniques discovered by our world-class research team. Because if you didn't know, you know, Port Swigger does a lot of cutting-edge resource uh, research as well into different web app vulnerabilities. Yeah, Insecure deserialization. I should make more content on that. This one is a very interesting one. I can put together a POC on that if you guys were interested. But yeah, then you have these other ones here too. Server side template injection, web cache poisoning, host header attacks, request smuggling, OAuth vulnerabilities, things like that. And uh, yeah, very, very thorough, well put together site. An amazing resource that everyone, if they have any interest in doing web app pen testing, should definitely check out. They even have a getting started guide. If uh, you know, you're know you kind of lost here, you want to figure out exactly how to get started, you can track your progress as well. And yeah, very well put together site. Like I said, they will walk you through every step of the way. You can also go on their site unrelated to the academy. You can check out the research they're doing. And I talked about research, right? So this will keep you up to date on the cutting edge stuff that they're looking at, right? Like this one came out June 30th, finding Dom Polyglot XSS and PayPal the easy way. So you can read some of their research articles and see how they were able to find some stuff. Maybe that's a little bit advanced for some people, but uh, yeah, definitely some good stuff. Like you even have like proof of concepts you can check out, right? <laughs> Where it's actually replaying the uh, the attack it looks like year two haven't ever checked out this particular one but then yeah some additional pocs but yeah hopefully this was helpful for you i think i'm going to create some content on this now that i look at it it's making me want to dive right into it if i'm being honest with you guys uh definitely would be well fitting for the channel let me know if that's something you'd be interested in me just going through some of this uh port swigger academy stuff and making content on it for you guys because that'd be something i'd be interested in but i just would like to know if you guys would be as well and uh yeah if you want to check out some more videos on the channel i have what you need to know for oscp on screen right now just go over and check out those videos i'll see you guys right over there thanks for watching